Hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the prestige. Um, you know, I know I'm not doing it in exact chronological order, um, but you know, I kind of think it's a. Uh, it'd be good to save all the Batman films at the very end. Uh, this Christopher Nolan uh, uh, series I'm doing. So, yes. Um, the Prestige was the first movie he made after the first installment of his Batman trilogy. Um, stars, uh, you know, Jackman and Christian Bale, Scarlett Johansson, Michael Caine is in this film, David Bowie, and um, Andy Serkis, Rebecca Hall. And it basically has uh, Christian Bale and um, Hugh Jackman are uh, magicians. Um, in the beginning, uh, you know, they're working together, uh, they're partners basically. And, uh, things uh, uh, yeah. things seem to be going fairly well um, they have some disagreements about well, some of the tricks about what's magic what is really magic and all of that um, Hugh Jackman in this film. He has a wife, and um, she's an assistant in that she does, there's like a certain trick that they use her uh, for. It's like a water thing where she, her hands are tied, and they drop a curtain over it, and uh, she has to, what she unties her hands and tie, tie her legs together and as she does as they do that um, or as she, the trick goes she unties herself as that's all done and then there's like and then she's able to get out at some point um, So when they lift the curtain, it's like, ah, she's gone, and then, yeah, oh, here she is. She's all fine. Well, at one point, you know, Christian Bale's character, he wants to do do it with a, with a different knot. Because he thinks, like, it seems like it's like a bit too easy. And uh, they say no, so it's like, okay, fine. They don't. He doesn't do it, but then at one point, he does so. He does this other knot, which is tighter, and she eventually. Um, and then when that time comes to, you know, uh, untire himself while the curtains drawn over the tank, she can't do it, and then she subsequently drowns. Um, and Michael Caine always has a, like an axe handy in case something goes wrong. So, up until that point, never had to use it, but of course, she's drowning, so he uses it, and um, she unfortunately dies. And Christian Bale can't remember what what not he used at all um, because it might not have even been the knot he wanted to try out could have been what they've been doing all along but for whatever reason she might not have you know uh, been able to untie herself um, so that's one thing um, and um, that become as a that begins a rivalry they have. Um, 
go from there. Um, they do things on their own. Um, Christian Bale, he does very well for himself. He has an assistant. And um, uh, he gets married and later on has a daughter. And basically, Um, David Bowie plays um, um, uh, Nikola Tesla, um, and that's important to. Hugh, uh, Hugh Jackman, excuse me, and he's a inventor who creates a teleportation device that uh, Hugh Jackman will later use. Um, what he does is. Uh, um, He's a uh, machine. Actually, is able to clone um, clone things. Uh, they use hats, but the thing is, like, it would always be the exact same hat. Um, that's there. Nothing happens. And then at one point, do a cat. They go and. Try and see if the cat, like, maybe it needs to be alive. You can't just have something sitting there and nothing happens. Well, you know, that. Uh, you know, sort of dismayed that nothing happened. Um, you know, Hugh Jackman leaves, and then as he's walking out of the place um, to the gates to go here's a cat I'm really sorry <laughs> not yawning um, but here's a cat meowing and looks over and sees a whole bunch of hats goes inside says tells him and it's like uh, it just didn't have it calibrated to, like, show up inside. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I guess, getting a little ahead of myself in terms of plot, because before, you know, with the rivalry, find out some stuff from... Christian Bale outside of him and the wife and kid. Um assistant, um, he, uh, uh, is doing some magic tricks, and uh, he has this thing with a gun where you shoot it, and then he catches, like, the ball, or, like, the ball, because it's back in the days in the 1800s where they used or there were still bullets or balls, whatever, and um, like early 20th century. So he, the trick is he takes the when he's loading the gun and all that thing he uses to put the thing in. Actually, he has the bullet in it so that he just pauses it into his hand and then just. I'm there, you're gonna shoot him. He puts his hand up and he actually has the bullet in his hand the entire time. Well, and with these things, he's doing that trick. Hugh Jackman comes and then slips a re real bullet in. And then when he's there to 
demonstrate he uh, goes to shoot him, but he sorry, he shoots his hand, shoots his fingers off, which obviously is not good for him. And, um, later. You know, the rivalry uh, continues. Um, um, uh, Hugh Jackman gets an assistant also um, uh, who Scarlett Johansson plays um, or, and Rebecca Hall is Christian Bale's wife. And at some point, he has her go spy on Christian Bale, and then his She steals a copy of Borden's diary, which has a bunch of his tricks in his hand. Um, later on, Later, um, shown to be um, so. Yeah, he she takes his diary, decodes it, and um, he, at some point uh, he takes to because it's kind of like faked. Uh, uh, so sort of like a diary that's not complete and wants all of his little tricks he can. I don't know, he, uh, he like he decodes it, you can't find like the tricks he wants, so he goes and kidnaps his assistant and when he does so has him go to a certain location at which he arrives and then Wants his. So once he hands it over, it says, well, where's his assistant? He tells him it's buried. And he's like, is he alive? Well, he says, how fast can you dig? So then he digs in out and um, later on is doing shows. Scarlett Johansson later leaves. Um, uh, Jackman, because it's like it gets to the point where he's basically lost the whole point of why he's doing all this, which is for the tip. Get back at Christian Bale because he, I don't know, he inadvertently killed his wife. He doesn't think he should be happy with a wife and a child. Later on, um, he shows himself um, uh, to, to basically frame Christian Bale killing him. Um, spoiler alert now, spoiler alert territory. Um, I guess at this point, before um, Christian Bale's wife uh, uh, killed herself because she just didn't seem to think he really loved her. Like, she, she would put it like, um, 
some days when he says he loves her it's true other times it's not one day is it it is true the next it could be and she just doesn't feel like he genuinely loves him her anymore or even the daughter and it's just you know he doesn't you know she things get to be much and she eventually kills herself and um, When Jackman goes to, you know, do another uh, this disappearing act with the machine, which is a trap door, he falls, goes into a tank below. Which usually what happens is once that happens, he then seen. Up top, like the real him, like yeah, he's a clone. He's up a top. He's up top somewhere. And there. And he later does this, but when he's clone, he doesn't come back. And he, uh, like, he doesn't uh, emerge in. Christian Bale goes down the stairs to try and see some more stuff of what, like, if, is there anything more to it? And he finds the tank. And when he finds the tank, sees Hugh Jackman's in there and he's trying to get him out or something. And he's yelling and then he's later found to be guilty of murdering him and he's sentenced to death and later on you know, he talks to his assistant that he'll have to do he can to take care of everything and he's sorry for all that happened and um, later Hugh Jackman shows up with this uh, his daughter uh, and says that he needs to um, um, he tries to say how uh, he's alive and if he's alive uh, you know, if Hugh Jackman's alive he, Christian Bale can get out of here because he's like that's the guy who I'm I, I killed apparently and that's the reason I'm in here but if he's not dead I can leave and um yeah he has Christian Bale's daughter with him to see him one more time time before he's hung so, later on, you know, Michael Caine, the assistant to Jack and throughout the whole film, he finds out he's alive and realizes all that he, what he's done. He's angry. He doesn't like it. And the only thing he agrees to do is destroy the that machine so it can't be used anymore. So... That's that, and um, later on, there's like a, you know, at the theater, someone goes inside. Also, it's a bit non-linear, obviously, because this all happens roughly after cutting with, before Christian Bale is killed or hung, and uh, as he's Hugh Jackman goes downstairs, looks at all these tanks, and below the stage, there's all these tanks that are there, which have various clones of himself, which, you know, are all drowned. So, you know, he's 
kept all these under there. And nobody really knows about all these clones. They've all been moved, at least. And, um, all of a sudden, um, as you Jackman's looking around, here's somebody, and then This person shoots Hugh Jackman, and um, it's revealed to be Christian Bale. And then it finds out that it, we find out that Christian Bale's assistant was actually his twin brother, and they would often switch places. And they switch, you know, they have different personalities. So one of them would generally love the wife, like the main magician, which is, and his name's Alfred Bor oh, uh, Borden, Christian Bale's name, and then Fallon is uh, the assistant's name, Robert Angier's Hugh Jackman, but I didn't say that before because I don't know. For In case anybody does have has not seen this film, uh, you know, you don't want to possibly confuse him. Uh, so, that's all, you know, find out Fallon and, you know, Alfred are twin brothers, and they would just switch to be, every so often, be Alan, or Alfred. And this switch is what uh, um, causes, eventually, uh, Alfred's wife to kill herself because of this personality change. One would generally love her, you know, Alfred, while um, Fallon loved uh, Scarlett Johansson when he was when she was there with him. So as a result, uh, she, she killed herself and reveals after as Hugh Jackman lies or is is there dying and he's seeing how he had, you know quite honestly he did all this just for what you know yeah it's like you know just what like, what was it all for? You did all of this just for what? Like, no, it was, turned out to be nothing. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything with the magic, the abilities he had. Only to try and ruin, you know, Borden's life. So. And now it wasn't actually worth it. And then, see, Fallon goes, now... He would be pretending to be Alfred basically now the whole life. You know, he goes to take a his actual niece and he's not going to raise her and then you see all these the de decomposing bodies a few of Angier, Robert Angier's bodies and then the movie ends now, I mentioned how uh, Insomnia was an underrated film from Christopher Nolan. I feel this is, an, is also an underrated film. This came out between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, uh, two of three notable films that people really talk about with Christopher Nolan. So, you know, I kind of Gave some spoilers in the, throughout the whole thing, you know, here, but, you know, it's a, it's a very good film. Um, there's a lot I didn't even include, though. I guess I told the ending and what happens to the characters. Um, but, you know, it's even with all that, I think it's still a very good film, if you haven't seen this. Um, uh, it's well acted, well... Written, it's written by Christopher Nolan and his brother Jonathan Nolan. Um, produced by Emma Thomas and a writer. And Christopher Nolan. Um, 
It's the first film since feature-length film since uh, following that he produced a film of his own. And, um, yeah, it's just a very good movie. Um, this came out the same year as um, The Illusionist, but this came out first, and there's a whole big thing like, oh, who copied who? Um, but The Illusionist is also a good film in its own right. Um, I do enjoy this more. Um, you know, I do like... Um, You know, I do like uh, Christian or Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale. Like, okay, I like the people who were really behind the whole film more so than the Illusionist. Though the Illusionist is very good. Um, Edward Norton, Paul Giamatti. Okay, that's what it was. I thought it was Paul Giamatti, but I couldn't recall if it really was him or if it was someone else who might uh, play similar parts. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a good film. I think it's a good movie. Um, if you've seen it, do you think it's a good movie, or did you thought it was okay? Did you think it was okay, or did you not like it at all? Um, yeah, that's really all I have to really say about this um, film. I have nothing else really to talk about it, otherwise I'd just be going on and on. And um, I've done that before in the past, so you don't really need to see me continue with that. So, with that, I will leave you. Have a good weekend. Hope you have a good day. Or had a good day. Whenever you watch this. So, um, yeah.